we've, uh, I don't know how it is down here. I guess it's about the same way it is back home. But we've got enough dead, we've got enough dead Christians to float about. Amen. Amen. Ask them more. Ask them about their conversion. Oh, I can't wait to we make it to that just a minute. Go ahead. I like this all. Ask them about their conversion. And they instantly begin to tell you about something they've done. It's faulty from the get go. And it's wrong from the get go. When you ask a child of God that has the life of God down in the of their soul, ask them about what happened to them. Yeah. Yeah. They instantly begin to tell you about something that somebody else did. Yeah. Right. Amen. Yeah. 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 They instantly begin yeah. to tell you about the holy God. That I could do. And saw, and saw, yeah. Yeah. And saw their sin and saw their wretched, their sin wrecked condition and had mercy on them and gave them grace and, yeah. and allowed them to repent yeah. and opened up an effectual door that no man can shut. I like what the preacher said about that linebacker. Show me that linebacker, praise God. <laughs> and the 
children of God. Amen. Amen. A.W. Tozer said, he said, a group of sincere people tightly knit together in the bounds of religious activity do no more constitute the church than 11 dead men make a football team. Amen. That's good. Life, life Amen. is the first requisite. And all across our land, we've got preachers, pastors, evangelists, missionaries that pronounce men alive. Yep, there you go. Brother Bryson, because they've been able to conform to the denominational standards, they've been able to agree. You realize, you realize in the average Baptist church, thank God for this church, thank God for my church, Brother Bryson's church, some of y'all don't know, but I'm sure there's some good churches represented here tonight. But I, do you realize in the average Baptist church, the only thing you have to do really to get saved is be able to say, uh huh, in the right spot. That's right. That's right. That's right. Up in my area, brother, there in Asheville, North Carolina, that is hailed as probably the greatest independent path, independent Baptist pastor in that area. I heard him preach a message, and the title of the message was "That's All There Is to It," and that's what he preached on. The five-year-old boy's pastor coming down to the altar, and him with a five-dollar bill in his hand, and slap it in their hand because they wanted it, and he said, "That's all there is to it." I heard it with my very own ears. I'm telling you tonight that that's not. Different. Yeah. What do you mean, preacher? Well, that's pretty simple. I'm different. 